The name of the condition is functional neurological disorder and it's when the brain misfires messages to your nervous system. I'll have seizures or I'll have limb weakness or I'll speech abnormalities. My memory is really affected by FND. I experience the memory loss practically daily. There has been an instance where I've lost my memory and I've lost all memory of my girlfriend and I've lost all memory that my family even know that I've come out as gay. Meg, can you hear me? Meg. I do get a lot of, oh, she's faking it, she just wants attention. Meg, take really deep breaths like this. <sighs> Every day is hit and miss, like you never know what you're gonna get. Some days I can wake up and my hand could be completely locked and that would mean that I might not be able to brush my teeth that morning because my hands are locked. I can't really like sit down and eat a full meal because I probably have a sleep attack. The condition I've been diagnosed with is functional neurological disorder and the way the doctor described it to me is you've got a computer with 10 tabs open and you go to open an 11th tab and then the whole computer just crashes. The brain misfires messages to your nervous system. I'll have seizures or I'll have limb weakness or I'll speech abnormalities. I just can't really have any time on my own because I do just have to be supervised. My symptoms first started in 2017. I felt really uneasy and I was telling my friends I, I don't feel well, I think I need to go outside and then I must have fallen and, and collapsed and then when I woke up I had no feeling on the left hand side of my body. It was six months after I started with the symptoms and this one doctor said we think it might be functional neurological disorder. I'd say like twice a day maybe the sleep attacks and a seizure at the minute, touch wood is just happening every three days I think and no matter how you try to suppress it unless you let yourself fall asleep you feel really ill. I'm triggered by many different things so if I laugh too much it just puts me to sleep like that and then definitely eating, eating's a big one because it makes me really tired. I don't want to be seen as like oh the weirdo that sleeps at the table or she might have a fit and it puts people off spending time with you sometimes because they don't know what they're going to get. My memory is really affected by FND. There has been an instance where I've lost my memory and I've lost all memory of my girlfriend and I've lost all memory that my family even know that I've come out as gay. So when Tara reintroduces herself to me and tells me, oh, I'm your girlfriend, that like we met 10 months ago, whatever it was, I'd be like, oh my God, my family know I'm gay, like I'm out. And I get really emotional about it because it's like you feel the overwhelmingness all, I'm gonna cry, all over again. Meg, take really deep breaths. Yeah, it's okay. It's really deep breaths, Meg. You're doing really well, like really well. Okay, can you hear me? Mm. Yeah, just really deep breaths, like. Mm. You can hear me now, can't you? Good girl. Mm. God, I don't know. Yeah, I thought you needed that. Oh. I think I just overwhelmed myself. That was just an example of one of the fits that Meg has. It's probably from watching the actual videos. Usually she just puts them on without even watching them. But watching them obviously brings out a sad emotion and then the more sad she's getting, it just gets her worked up and t turns into a seizure. I feel better now, I think I needed it. I think, I think one, one was inevitably gonna happen, but I felt like I felt really poorly, especially with the interview earlier, and then I, f I feel better now. It was like I needed a release. It's like a release, isn't it? Yeah. Like it's happened. If I'd have stopped that one from happening, then once you, once everyone had gone home and I was on my own, I would probably have had a worse one. Tara and I met, I think it was like 10 months ago now. She helps me so much, even with juggling her job and me. She always makes time to come and give me a cup of tea. When we first met and she didn't realise like the severity of my memory loss, she came up with this idea that every time we spent the day together and the night together, she'd write a diary for me for the day after. So we'd always have something to look back on. So this is a diary entry that Tara had written so that I could remember it. So uh, it just this one just says, we got up and listened to Christmas songs and then we moved to Motown, but that was slightly too much for you, so my you passed out. Uh, now I'm gonna pick you up and we're going to have a picnic with my brothers and their girlfriends. Should be nice. Mm -hmm. I've just never had someone who, who understands me as much as her. But at first, it was obviously harder to grasp because every day she'd wake up and there would be a new symptom of something else. But then as I sort of understood Meg's illness more, I managed to cope with it and try, try help her in different ways, ways that I could, I could help her. 
Um, mm. So that would... Fortunately, every time I've forgotten her, I've fancied her when I've woken up and been like, oh my God, you know, I really fancy you. But there could be one day I do forget and come round and I'm thinking, oh, she's not for me. That like, wouldn't that's... happen. <laughs> it was my idea to sort of push her to document it because I knew the response would just be like, how amazing this girl is. I made a video from my perspective and then it went viral like overnight. It had like a million likes and a million views and it just kept going up and up and up and I had thousands of comments and I was just, I was so in awe that I actually ended up having a seizure and forgetting about it all and having to go through it all again. And then I've had so much love since. But there is also the flip side where I do get a lot of, oh, she's faking it, she just wants attention. But the, the good outweighs the bad and I do get a lot of support. Tara brings me to this park every time I have like a memory lapse because it's the first place we went on a date. FND makes it quite difficult to want to come out and do these things like go to the park because it can be quite dangerous and obviously a bit embarrassing if I was to have a seizure. But once I'm out, I really enjoy it. My main aim is to just raise as much awareness as possible for other people like me. I just want to be a voice for them and I just want to make other people with hidden disabilities more aware that just because you're afraid that someone might say, oh, well, you don't look disabled. It doesn't matter, you know what the truth is. Don't let it stop you living.